everybody. Today I'm going to discuss a topic that I found out has been very important to some of you out there, uh, and that is how to uninstall applications on your Mac. So today I'm going to discuss three methods that uh, can be used to uninstall applications on your Mac. The first is uh, the native uh, way to uninstall applications. So if we open the applications menu, or folder rather, not a menu, if we go here and we pick uh, an application that we want to delete, I know I want to delete, um, let's see, what app should we delete? All right, we're going to delete this one here. You can either um, del delete it by dragging it to the trash, or you can delete it by simply hitting Command and Delete. And that removes it and puts it into your trash. And here it is. And that's how you would delete um, an application natively on your Mac. But that is not the best way to do it. Um, because it doesn't necessarily remove all the files that are on your system related to that application. So what I would do, let's put this um, application back by going to right click and then put back. So what I would do is I would open an application like App Cleaner is I think is what I have here. Yeah. So we have App, app Cleaner and then we're going to um, select a, an application. I think there's one called Color Sync here maybe that I would want to delete. Let's see. or WebEx, here's WebEx that we're gonna delete. So we drag it and it searches for all the um, application, or not applications, but all the elements that are related to that application. And you simply hit remove and it takes it, um, deletes it off your system completely, and all related files. So um, that's that. Let's see what applications uh, I may have. Oh, <clears throat> we have all these files here that are related to this application. But this is also not my favorite way to delete an application. My favorite way to delete an app application is called um, uninstall using Homebrew. So we're going to cancel this and then we're going to close App Cleaner. And we're going to close these windows. And then um, we're going to go open the iTerm terminal. Or you can use the terminal, it doesn't matter. I just prefer using iTerm2. And we're going to go uh, do a list in brew. So we're going to do brew list. And it gives you all the casks or applications that you installed through. Um, through Homebrew that you can uninstall. So 
here is um, the items that I have installed in um, on my system that I could uh, potentially uninstall. Let's see if we can find something to uninstall here. Hmm. So we have iTerm2, Inkscape. I don't know what Inkscape is, but let's uninstall Inkscape. So I'm just going to copy the name so I have it correct here and then hit. Um, brew uninstall and then paste the name of the app that I want to uninstall and then hit OK and it goes through the process and there you go yeah. I've uninstalled Inkscape and it's as simple as that to um, uninstall an application from your Mac. So to review, I showed you how to uninstall an application natively by dragging it to the trash and then emptying the trash. Now, and then you can use a third party app like App Cleaner that will grab all um, associated files and delete them uh, from your system using a, a graphical user interface in the application like you saw. And then, of course, my favorite method of uninstalling an app is using Homebrew. The only limitation with Homebrew is for it to uninstall an app, you have to have installed that application using the same thing, the install command in Homebrew. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below on what types of other videos you want to see using automation. And yes, Homebrew is considered an automation uh, power app um, for those who want to utilize the command line more. So anyway, um, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you all in the next video.